Four Freedoms Fund sponsored a tour of the South for immigrant rights donors that visited four locations, meeting with advocates and residents of communities affected by immigration along the way. And we've been just on a, uh, it seems like two weeks, but it was only a two-day tour of the Southeast, and we've been meeting with advocates in states like Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, and Florida, and Louisiana, and Mississippi, actually. This great opportunity to show sort of major funders of this work um, exactly sort of the context in which we work here in the Southeast. This is a really important part of the country, not just because it's been a bastion of white supremacy, but it also has a rich legacy of resistance and civil rights. There were various various presentations that where I had like more than one aha moment. These advocates have their hands full, um, but they've done an incredible job at not only thinking out of the box, but being proactive and doing what they need to do for their communities and with their communities and empowering their communities. There's lots of opportunities, both threats and opportunities, and it's really important to understand the context in which our different states are operating and create synergy and support among the different states. Having the opportunity to show people what it's like to be a Muslim community member um, in a small rural town in the south. Actually visiting Shelbyville was a highlight. I think meeting some of the, um, the people who have worked at the a local level and who are in the film, uh, Miss Lucy and others, has just been great. I was particularly touched by visiting the, um, the mosque in Shelbyville and spending time with the Somalis there during prayer. I think that that was uh, an important experience for me. Uh, being able to see what it is that has caused so much tension and potential division. You know, 20 community members that are expressing their faith in the way they know. Um, and really just having a very inside look at that, I think, was a unique opportunity. It was extremely informative. And I've been very impressed at the level of knowledge and um, passion that uh, everyone that we have met has exhibited. I mean, I don't know how they do it on a daily basis, to be quite honest. They're amazing people. And it's just nice being reminded um, that that's happening all over the country, but also having a chance to sit down with them for two to three days. I hope people uh, better understand the challenges that we face, but are also inspired by the passion and the innovative uh, ideas, the innovative approaches to the work, and see the continued value in providing resources to, to this part of the country. We need to invest in ensuring that the worst kinds of anti-immigrant um, laws are not put forward, and but at the same time we got to do more work about educating folks in the states about why immigrants are coming, why they have uh, arrived in their cities and states, and why they may speak a different language and or have a different religion. And I think we haven't invested enough in that, in that, um, in that part of our work. I thought it was a very effective funder tour. I look at it from a funder perspective because um, it, was, it was very informative. Uh, they, uh, Maggie and the group uh, for Freedoms Fund, included uh, advocates and, advo and, and uh, activists that know the region very well. And it's very, very hot in the South in June.